I'm not sure that anything really fully sets you up for a job you take for as long as this one, but um, I do think, ironically, that things were aligned. Um, my background sort of didn't know at the time fully how much it was going to help, but my background was I started out as an entrepreneur right out of college. I was one of those before it was even fashionable to do that. I didn't know enough to really know that that was a good thing to do. It just sort of happened. So I had my first business, um, started it actually in college and after college for about four or five years, and then moved into a corporate role um, after having my own small company. Um, so I was very entrepreneurial and that actually was an attribute at that time. They were looking for game changers in an old line telecommunications company um, right at the height of telecommunications. Wireless was really what I worked on most of the time. So it's an emerging technology, which is amazing that that was an emerging technology when it's so prolific today. I do think 10 years and 11 addresses in a corporate environment working with some of the leading technologies really seeded in me um, really an appetite for things, technology things, innovative. Um, I worked with federal laboratories, laboratories, really where things were really being built, but also at the really dawn of mobility and that and, and its impact, if you will, on all things business. So that was an exciting career. Um, when I finalized that, then my company uh, was purchased by Verizon, or what became Verizon at the time. Um, I decided to come back to this area um, because I'd spent so much time here and really did another entrepreneurial business, if you will, with another partner. And that was really as a give back. We really wanted to help open up financing for women run businesses and women CEOs. They were 30 million and up kind of businesses. So it was some significant businesses sort of up and down the eastern seaboard in California. So that was a great give back. We didn't make any money. So I understand those entrepreneurs that come in and say it didn't work, but it was really important work we were doing. Um, and I really wanted to get closer to the technology and ended up leaving that and moving over to Columbia Capital, which at the time was a uh, venture fund specializing in communication. So it was a little more close to my roots, um, but it also was a nice place where my investor relations and strategic planning and sort of business and my technology love really made a difference. So I ended up kind of all three of those stools that I think helped me, equip me, if you will, when, um, when I got a call about uh, MAVA and coming on board with MAVA. And I knew MAVA. I was actually a member of MAVA. So I've been on both sides even of the MAVA fence. I was a customer and a consumer, knew a little bit about what it did. I actually was a volunteer. MAVA has had a long history of tapping people in the community to, to volunteer and to serve. Um, so I knew the value of that. I knew the culture of that. And I had some knowledge of the industry. So, um, and I think corporate helped and I think being entrepreneurial helped. So with that, I came on board and really came on board because there were some terrific leaders at the time at MAVA and um, they gave me great confidence that this was an organization that was primed and wanted to move up and grow and have an impact.